Hello everyone and welcome to the Kenny Wallace Show brought to you by JEGS, the leader in high performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to JEGS.com for all your car parts. Well, today's story is one that I get asked all the time. I have race car drivers that come up to me and say, Herman, what's them dad spring smashers and all them load sticks all about? We are in a new era, and there are still a lot of race car drivers that don't understand load, load sticks, and things of this nature. So let's go through the history of how we've sat cars up, or set them up, <laughs> and where we're at now. All right, Charlie's working the camera, and uh, let's start from the beginning. Years ago, we had four scales, all right? Now, these are considerably real nice electronic scales. Uh, Mike Mittler made them back in the day. Uh, we lost Mike. Uh, man, we sure do miss him. But Mike, uh, you know, sold these scales. These are electronic scales. So the car, this would be the left front. This would be the right front. This would be the right rear. This would be the left rear. And these wires would go to each corner and we would read all the weights right here. And all of you old guys, you love this. Except Scott Bloomquist and my brother Rusty and Mark Martin and even me, we grew up on the legendary grain scales. The big old scales, the car's way up in the air and we'd set the car up for hours. Well, the problem with this is you can't take these big grain scales on the road. Uh, you know, some some thought they could, and boy, there were monstrosities back in the day. To this day, nobody likes taking scales on the road. You look at the World of Outlaw late models. You look at the Lucas Oil late models. Where are you going to set it up? You're going to find a Walmart parking lot. You're going to borrow a guy's garage. So we still have these. And let me tell you what the purpose of these scales are for now. Your overall weight of your car, left to right, and there are still some old school guys that love setting their cars up on scales. However, it is a, oh, I was gonna cuss. It is a lot of work. You gotta jack the thing up, jack this whole car up, put it on, take the left rear axle out, take the left front, the right front, the right rear shocks off, and it is just a ton of work. So, how do we go on the road? How do these traveling racers go on the road and adjust their car from track to track? We're at Eldora. Well, then the next night, we got to go down here to Macon Speedway. You're going from one of the world's fastest dirt tracks to one of the world's slowest tracks. How are they changing the chassis on these cars while they're on the road? Now, remember, you're running your local track every week no problem, use the scales if that's what you wanna do, but it's still a lot of work because you gotta jack the car up, you gotta pull the axle out, you gotta take everything off except the left rear shock and whatever have you. I'm gonna show you something that is old but still very new. And yes, I know you have one, right? Let's check it out, come on. So instead of you putting your car on the scales, this is what we call load. What does your right front weigh? What does your left front weigh? Right rear and left rear. We're gonna go to the rear of the car right now. This is a rear spring with a rubber in it. Obviously a blue rubber, right? Now, we've got all types of rubbers. You're not checking nothing very secretly out right here. And here's why, Charlie, Let's show them the legendary rubbers. Do you want a blue rubber right here? Black, green, yellow, purple. Okay. Now, the purpose of our rubbers are adjusting how much your spring smashes. As you go in the corner, you're looking good. You go through the middle, you're starting to transfer more weight to the right rear. We want timing, timing. As we go in the corner, we're getting loose then it sinks. So let's go to the, for all you racers that, that are afraid and you're embarrassed, the Herminator's here to help you. Check it out. We want to help my buddy here. This is the Ultra Force. This is by Chad Weirs. 
So we just turned it on. Let's watch it. Okay, Herman just pushes. All right, now we're gonna go to manual. We're gonna do manual. We're gonna zero it. Hold your finger down, zero. Zero means that now the machine's gonna work. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Instead of you scaling your car, Charlie, right rear, this is the right rear scale. This, if the car's here, this is where it's gonna be. You're gonna, you're gonna get the right rear weight, but you don't wanna jack the car up. You don't wanna do all that work. So let's just do it here on the spring smasher. All right, the Herminator, I'm gonna push this baby up, I'm gonna put her in. I can do this in my sleep. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use 21, 21.50, 21 and a half. If you're like me, when I grew up, it's like 125, 0.125. Oh, what is that? It's an eighth of an inch. I'm not real smart. I'm a lot redneck, and to this day, I still don't know a lot. I think 0.75 is three quarters of an inch, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Charlie, let's zoom in here. We're going to go to 21. Uh, what, let's go. Let me see where we go to. Let's go. All right. Let's go to 21 inches. All right. We're going to go to 21 inches. Now, we, now I like doing things manual because I'm not very smart. I want 2100, right? Let's go right. Okay, let's just use that. That's close enough. All right, now, center to center, 21 inches. Okay, now your chassis builder is going to tell you that number. Okay, now come here, Charlie. 21.00 is 34 pounds, right? Okay, well, I want, I want 60 pounds. Now, these numbers are way off to protect the chassis builder's information. <laughs> so we're going to take this. We're going to loosen this up. We're going to take a little load out. All right. Right? All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to screw down two turns. Remember, our number was 34, right? Now, watch. Watch. I'm gonna come around a half a turn, one turn. I didn't go down enough. All right, so here we go, I went two turns. All right, I've smashed the spring, two turns. Now these are big threads. So when somebody says go down a half a turn, that's a lot, that's a lot because they're coarse threads. Charlie, let's zoom in on these threads. See how these threads are very coarse? They're very coarse, so if you just do a half a turn, that's a lot. All right, now remember, 21 inches was 34. We went down two turns, right? All right. Twenty-one inches. Okay, 20.99, that's close. Look, 80 pounds. 34. 44, 54, 64, 74, 40 something pounds with two turns. So there is so many things you can do with rear load, but this, that is load. That's all there is to it. I know a lot of you old racers are afraid. I know a lot of racers that, that are pretty decent racers and they talk like they know what load is, but they really don't know what it is. And I, I, I can detect it right away. So what we're gonna do is gonna take, the, take this off, take, go down here. Okay, now, here's what I want to say to you. This, this rubber is, is a blue rubber, right? It's a blue rubber. And uh, what that rubber does is it catches the car. So when the spring is weak, it starts to fall over. We put that rubber in. That rubber will catch the car in the middle of the corner. Look, car goes in, starts to fall over, starts to go over. Rubber catches it. But what kind of rubber do you want? Do you want that rubber I got in there? Or do we want to come over here and Eibach sells all these rubbers? These are different, different type rubbers, right? What, what do you want? What do you want in your race car? If you're so damn smart, <laughs> but I see people that get mad at the chassis builders 
Damn it, I know I can drive if you would just tell me what to do. <laughs> it's very complicated, and it's not that easy. It's up to you. You might drive differently. Do you go down the straightaway and let off the gas, and your car falls down? Or do you go in the corner, and you let off 90%, start dragging the brake? Do you have a stiff left rear shock on? Now, you're saying, Kenny, that's the rear springs. What about the front? All right, Charles, let's go right underneath the table here. So once again, I have my, let's move the rubbers out of the way. Let's go to the front of the car. I want to put one turn in the front of my car. Here, once again, is my Weir's load stick. That's the part number. All right. So I, uh, I keep all my information here, so I'm going to hide it because I don't want nobody getting mad at me. All right, now, look at this beautiful unit. All right, so what I would do is I would take this off, right? And this is my right front shock, top and bottom. Here's the sensor. Now, usually I'm putting the car on the jack stands or on the scales, and it's just too much work. So I take the shock off. What I do is I, I put this on. I've got this badass bolt nut combination that I've made. I take the shock off. I screw this in. And then I put on my measuring device, which is right here. It bolts in here like this. It goes in there. And this, this measures it. So let's say I want my right front, say, 20 inches. And I want it to be 700 pounds. 20 inches, 700 pounds. Well, right here, Charlie, this, this area right here, this is going to light up. Let's see if it's, it's got any charge. Yeah, there you go. It's loaded. So we would, we would press load. It would neutralize it. But anyway, I don't have our zero. We wouldn't have it hooked up. So anyway, this will tell you this is the front load stick. This is the rear spring smasher. We're checking the rear spring loads with this machine. We're checking the front loads with this load stick and this sensor. So um, hopefully for a lot of you great racers, the local racers that don't know what load means, load sticks is for the front, load smashers for the rear. You're gonna find this machine you're going to find this machine in Dean Hoffman's trailer, your local racer. You're going to find it in most of your local racers now. Because if you want to run here on Friday night and you want to go three hours up the road on Saturday, you don't want to have to guess where your car's at. Oh, no. We need to put our car in the scales because I think we're off. And, boy, let me tell you what. That has happened an awful lot. So what I just showed you is just a real quick education on putting the car on the scales like we did back in the day. Now listen, I still put my car on the scales to see what the weight is and what the rear weight is and what the left weight is. My car hasn't seen a set of scales. Well, I ran my car two years and I think I might've put it on the scales one time just to see where my rear weight was. But this is what all racers live on now. Rear spring smasher and the new load stick. And once again, this is nothing, this is nothing to make fun of because it makes life easier on you. That way you don't have to spend your nights out in the garage while your wife is going, get in here for dinner. You can do this at the racetrack if you want. No more crazy nights on the scales. Honey, I got to scale the car tonight. All right, everybody. Well, I hope I've taught you something and listen. I'm just an old redneck, I'm not very smart, but we have won 112 dirt races. So we must not be that dumb. <laughs>